What is up everyone? Today we are talking my Amazon travel favorites, must-haves, best things I've found over the past few years. Um, well, even longer. Some of these I've had for so, so long. Um, we just returned from a very long trip, very far away. I put a lot more things to the test than I normally do since we knew the plane ride would be longer, you know. So I'm excited to share these items. I'll have everything linked in the order I mentioned them below. I also have my Amazon storefront. So if you wanna shop these items and be able to see them all at the same time, I will provide a link with all of these together because I know sometimes you're kind of going through the separate links. You're like, which one was this one? Cause I've got a couple bags I'm mentioning. So I will link that one link that has all of it all together down below as well. Of course, I do make a small commission if you do purchase anything through my links. So thank you ahead of time if you choose to use those links because it does support me and my channel. Okay, all of that out of the way, let's dive in. So we're gonna first start with organization. This is my favorite category. <laughs> it's the one that I have definitely tried the most things. So these are my absolute favorites. First things first, this really cute monogrammed bag so it's kind of shaped like a dop kit type you know what i mean this kind of bag they have this in pink and blue you can get whatever letter you want it comes lickety split i feel like a lot of times when you like for me i'll see something with that's a little more personalized i'm like oh i've got to wait for them to personalize it no no this came in like a day <laughs> but like i said they have the pink and the blue i love the stripe it feels really nice but it's really lightweight that's definitely something i've realized if you're looking at your weight in your travel bag and you're like trying to keep it under a certain amount, especially like we had a lot of internal flights, uh, like within different countries. And so we were worried about being under a certain kilogram and it was nice that this was really, really lightweight. I had this in, did I have this one in my carry on? I think I did now, now it's all running together, but anyway, very, very lightweight and plenty of space. This was something I used to carry like, sunscreen, um, these tied things I'm gonna talk about. Kind of my random accoutrement, but I could totally see someone using this just for their makeup bag because it is plenty spacious, really cute. The zipper is nice and strong as well, and it's got a little handle. I feel like this gives the Stony Clover vibes without that price tag. <laughs> You know what I mean? I have everything like spread out on the floor around me and I'm really low on this couch and I just feel uncomfortable. <laughs> I guess I could have filmed somewhere else, but anyway, all right, what next? This right here. This may be my favorite find recently. This is this really nice clear bag. I'd seen this on random like influencer collection, you know, curations, whatever, and I finally bought it. They have different colors. This is of course the brown. They had like pink and white and I think black. All of them look gorgeous, but I was really surprised. I wish you guys could feel how sturdy and well-made this thing is. The zipper is really sturdy. I was able to use this for my TSA carry-on stuff. I had it filled to the brim and we did TSA in multiple cities. We, like I said, had internal flights with many different airlines in Europe, in, I guess, technically Africa, like the Middle East area. All of that, um, it was fine. It was totally fine. So. I always say, and this is my best piece of advice that I myself follow too, if you are unsure that like a bag you have would work for like TSA compliance, et cetera, just bring with you a couple extra quart size Ziploc bags. Have them folded up empty in your carry-on. So if you go through and they're like, hey, and I've never had this happen, but if for some reason they were like, hey, these need to be in this kind of bag, you can whip one out, transfer it in, and you're good to go. So that way, it at least gives you that peace of mind that if you're worried about it, you have a backup plan. But like I said, I've never had an issue. This is the first time traveling with this, but I've traveled with many other clear-ish bags and I've, I've never had an issue. So wanted to point that out because I know I get that question a lot anytime I talk about like TSA, your liquids on your carry-on. So I love this. This is probably what I will always use from here on out. I can't believe how nice and well-made this is. And it's, and it's cute. <laughs> I just finished like a protein shake. And you know, when you're like, you got that like chalky feeling in your mouth. Now I'm drinking coffee and I'm like, yeah, this is a weird combo in my mouth right now. So if you didn't know, like if you stumbled on this video and you don't watch my channel, typically I do a lot of like vlogs and stuff. Um, why did I bring that up? Now I don't remember. Well, anyway, <laughs> shameless plug. There was a reason it was on my mind and now, sorry. Hey, check out my vlogs. I'll link my, my playlist below. <laughs> All right, okay, this is the greatest carry-on book bag. You can fight me on it. I own two of them now, two different versions, and I'll show you both and what the differences are. It's Vera Bradley, which I know I just lost a bunch of you. Let me pull you back in. 
it they have like patterns and stuff Th these do not these are these beautiful let me zip it up so you can like really see it's this beautiful kind of nylon feeling quilted bag they're plain color so this is the newest one i bought it has so many compartments right here i love this green color so so much i got a lot of compliments of people um when they saw it you know what i mean like in the airport okay when i say a lot i mean two but i feel like that's a lot you know <laughs> amazing the other one i have is this gorgeous navy blue one I don't know that I could pick a favorite color wise. They both look really, really well made. They are really well made. They're pricey. Um, I would say like Amazon has been the best price I've found, which is why I bought both of these on here. Of course you can get Vera Bradley elsewhere, but when I've compared, it's always been cheaper on Amazon. The difference is this is their campus backpack. They have ones that aren't like this nylon feeling that are the same bag, but they're just patterned or different. But these, like I said, feel the most well made. This is their regular campus backpack. This is their XL. They are basically the same size, but the difference is this one, the XL is bigger in that it has an extra compartment. So you can just fit more, you can organize more. For this trip, I wanted to be able to put other things in here because I only had one main suitcase. It, you know, you're trying to spread things out. It worked great. I think for most normal trips, I'd probably be fine with just the regular. So that's how I would kind of determine that if you're looking at them and trying to decide between them. They both have this back compartment for, that's like super padded for, I put my Kindle, my iPad, if you had your laptop, whatever. All of that was back there. I had some like papers for the trip kind of in there staying flat and protected. There's just really good pockets. The one thing I like in this one is that there's this additional hidden pocket here. I literally didn't know about until like the night before the trip, I was finishing packing and I was like, wait a minute, what is this compartment? <laughs> that is awesome. But I also really like that they both have the trolley sleeves. So you can kind of pass that through on your suitcase handles. They have really good water bottle holders or whatever you've got going on back there. And they both have this hidden side compartment which is kind of nice. Like if you wanted, this is like right against your back. You could put your phone in there. It's kind of a quick access. Sometimes I'd put like my AirPods in there so I could easily find them on the airplane because that's the one thing that always gets lost in the bag, you know? So obviously a big fan of these bags. They're pricier. I think they're worth the, pr worth the price tag. They are not going anywhere anytime soon. Like they are so well made. That would be a great everyday backpack, even not for travel. Like if you commuted and brought stuff to work or to school or whatever, it is very well thought out. Like they've thought through everything. And if you wanna see more of the organization of like the inner pockets and stuff, obviously go check them out on whether Vera Bradley or Amazon's link, cause they definitely show video and you can really see inside. Okay, something that I think is overlooked. I have two kids. I know a lot of you guys know that. And I'm not really talking about anything kid wise here. I could absolutely do an entire video on my favorite kid travel hacks, you know, products, et cetera. Let me know if you'd be interested because I've definitely learned a lot over the past five years traveling all over the place with them. But one thing that I've taken from traveling with kids that I use personally is bringing a wet bag. This is my favorite one. These come in two packs. They're just, they have really cute patterns, which is why I like it. They're really, really durable. If something is spilled on you, you get sick, someone else gets sick on you, which has happened with the kids, of course, but anything can happen. It is really nice to have a place to, like if you needed to change clothes, you can put them in here. They're protected. They're not getting the rest of your stuff, gross, dirty, whatever. You could use this for undergarments. The other thing, the way I use it more often is I put my extra outfit in here and I have it at the bottom of my carry-on. So that way, if it's a very long flight and we wanna just change halfway through, which is something we've done like, anyway. I'm over explaining a wet bag, but my point is this is very, very useful. It says 100% polyester, waterproof, very, very sturdy. It's got a little hook so you could hook it on to something if you wanted to keep it separate. Maybe you are using it for something that's sturdy. So it also has two compartments as well, which I think is nice. So I absolutely love it. Highly recommend getting wet bags for yourself, even if it's just you traveling, because I think you'd be surprised by how much you use it. And if you're not using it, it takes up very little room. So it could just be an extra bag for you to hold something in the future, maybe souvenirs. I don't know. Okay. The question I get asked more than anything organization wise is what is my recommendation for like toiletries? Like how do you pack your toiletries? Here's what I've learned. I used to be against hanging toiletry bags because I was like, sometimes you can't find a place to hang it. Um, they're kind of bulky, but I've come around to loving them because I have realized having separate bags for a bunch of different things. I know I'm saying that and I have like all these, <laughs> but having separate bags for all my toiletries, 
a lot of times a place we were staying wouldn't have like much counter space. So then I'm setting the bags on the floor or on like the side of the shower or on the back of the toilet. And I realized more often than not, I would be able to hang something, but I wouldn't always have plenty of counter space. So I fell in love with this bag here. I've got my little Disney hanging tag on here, but this is the best one. Now here's the thing, this particular hanging bag, there are different versions of it on Amazon. There is one thing in particular I love about this one. So I'll link the exact one. Cause I feel like, like I said, this is a very popular one that's on there and there are different versions. So what I like about it is that it has these top two compartments here that are smaller. Like I'll usually have my contacts in there, my toothbrush, toothpaste, like quick grab everyday items. So I don't really have this super organized. This just has some of the toiletries I just travel with. So just bear with me. But then it has this big compartment here that has, um, it's just big. You can fit full, if you wanted to fit full size things in here, you absolutely can. Full size brushes fit sideways. Um, there are two big pockets here. And then down here, there's another where there's three pockets. There's plenty of room in front of the pockets. And then yet another big compartment here. But the thing is, this isn't even full. I had this filled to the brim for this trip. I was always amazed at how well it, you could fill it up and it would still zip just fine like no issue at all. They have an outside zipper. The thing I like about this one in particular is that the other ones I've seen have zippers on the bottom as well. And I didn't like that because I felt like a lot of times I would store things in front of and I didn't want them to fall out. And so this version of it just ended up working perfectly. I've now used it for a lot of trips. I just absolutely love it. I could see myself eventually buying the black version because I feel like it would show dirt a little less easily. But for now, this is perfect, 10 out of 10. Easily the best hanging toiletry bag I've ever tried. Okay, let's talk tech. So I have a lot of solutions. I'm not getting nitty gritty. I'm talking like tech that we all use, like phone charger type stuff. So stay with me if I lost you there. So tech wise, first thing, I cannot believe more people don't know about this. So you know the pop sockets that you can put on your phone and you know it kind of pops out and then you can kind of lean it so you can watch it. I've loved the idea of those, but I don't like that you have to stick it on. Like I like to change my case up. I don't want it to have to be stuck to something. Pop socket themselves make a magnetic version of it. So where is my phone? There it is. So you just stick it on your case. It stays on there so tight. You can fold it back down. You don't need to leave it on. I literally just had this in my carry on or I'll keep it in my purse and then just pull it out when I want it. It can go with any case, whatever. And I love that I can just sit and watch stuff get work done. I mean, I don't know how much work I'm really doing on my phone, but you know what I mean? It is amazing. We even use it with our kids, like in restaurants, if we're in that last 20 minute period of the restaurant where you're like, okay, for us to be able to finish our meal and them not lose their minds, we're going to pop on, you know, Daniel Tiger or something. <laughs> anyway, it, it is amazing. It is so used. This is used so much by us. So I love this. I can't believe more people don't know about the magnetic version of it. Speaking of magnetic, I'm talking like MagSafe. The Apple MagSafe charger, I've tried a lot, a lot of the chargers that exist out there that, you know, you can plug into it, you can set it on top of. This is my favorite one. It's the only one we use now. We each have our own. I ended up literally making a little label so we knew whose was Tyler's and which one was mine. So you just stick it on magnetically and it is charging. It's amazing. I mean, it is so simple and it'll even tell you like I need to charge the this actual thing. I love it because we can be out and about touring a city. I can have this on, I can be videoing, taking pictures, texting, whatever, and it's still charging all throughout. So it's small, it fits in your bag. Like it is the perfect, perfect thing. And I love that I can use the same charger so I'm not having to tote around yet another charger. So a lot of times if we're like back in our hotel room midday, I'll charge my phone. And then when I'm done, I'll charge this. And so then by the next day, like, you know what I mean? I try to just switch it up, but. It is, it is a must have. Okay, this was new to me. I wanna mention it, but I have to say, I couldn't get it to work. But based on the reviews, everyone else under the sun has. So I wanna mention it because I think it is amazing. I think it was just a fluke with the plane we were on, etc. This is the Airfly Duo. So it's something that you can plug in. You know how when you're on some airplanes, they'll have like the screen and stuff. But a lot of times you need headphones that actually plug in. And a lot of us use Bluetooth headphones, AirPods, etc. This you just plug into the headphone jack on the plane. Then with these buttons, it gives you quick little instructions. You can connect it to your AirPods. Like I said, I wasn't able to. You do need to charge the unit itself, which it was charged. Like I said, I think it was just a fluke with the airline I was on, but it should work pretty seamlessly. And this 
this one in particular, you can connect to two AirPods. So like if we were both wanting to watch the same thing, you can Bluetooth connect to both, which I think is really cool. So I will eventually get this figured out and be able to use it, but it's so small, it takes up so little room and it could really, especially if you have a long flight, be really nice. So if you don't wanna use like the provided headphones, you can use your own. Okay, in the realm of chargers, this is one that's Apple made. There are a lot of other ones on Amazon like this that I think aren't Apple made. And there's one that folds out a third time. So if you wanted to charge your phone, your watch, and then if you have their um, AirPods, there's another one where you can put your AirPods on it. That's pretty cool. I might eventually get the one that folds out a third, but this has worked so well for us for so long. We each have one. You just plug it into the wall with your normal iPhone charger. It charges both. I like that it's small, but then when you, you know, for me on my nightstand at home, I have a thing where I can just set all the things on it. So when I'm traveling, it's really nice to just have on my nightstand. It feels a little bit more normal, a little less annoying to have, you know, cords plugging into everything. I have loved this so much. I recommend it to everyone I know. So I wanted to recommend it here because it is such a game changer. And then the last thing, I cannot find ours, but I talked about it recently in Amazon favorites videos. It's this phone holder that you can attach to anything basically like we've attached it to our stroller the main reason we bought it was you know when you are flying and they're like all right tray tables up etc well for us like with a young kid we're trying to like especially towards the end of the flight keep them entertained and we're having to put away tablets and stuff with this we can put have something playing on our phone and have the tray table closed and it connects to it while it's closed and it'll hold the phone so i can be holding our one-year-old while she's watching miss rachel and everyone's happy it, the tray table's up and stuff, but it it is just a game changer. We've used it at the grocery store before. It is one of those things that you will be amazed by how much you use them, especially if you have kids, but I think it's useful for anyone. All right, let's talk random. This is another favorite category because I feel like some of these things are things people don't talk about a lot, but are really helpful when you're traveling. Okay, first one. I did not know this was a thing. These are these little tied packs and you literally can clean your clothes in the sink with this it actually gets the clothes clean. So we've used those ones that are like dry, like little sheets that like kind of disintegrate into soap in the water. And I've never really had a great experience with those. I feel like the clothes never really smell that fresh. They don't feel super clean. This works. So if you are in a place where you know you won't be able to do laundry, um, you just wanna save money, you don't wanna like pay to go do laundry, whatever, especially for longer trips where you're re-wearing clothes, maybe you're sweating a lot. This is amazing. You just wash them, let your clothes dry overnight, maybe over the shower and you're good to go. And they actually smell fresh and clean. This takes up literally no room at all. So we brought like quite a few of these and you know, there's no skin off our back. <laughs> so if you are concerned about the weight of your bags, I feel like everyone is when you're traveling because you don't want to pay those overage baggage fees. And then especially towards the end of the trip, you've bought souvenirs and you're like, oh man, I know I was close. Like maybe let me divide these up. Having a luggage scale and bringing it with you on the trip is huge. This is my favorite one. I've gone through three, like two of the, the both, really both of them broke, but this one was even more lightweight and smaller as well. So I was a fan of that because if you're traveling with it and you're worried about weight, you don't want to bring something that's going to like weigh it down even more. This has been really accurate when I'll compare like what I weighed it to like watching it at the airport. It's just really nice. Like I said, it's really, really small and lightweight. It's accurate. I don't know what else you could ask for in this. And it's been nice to have that kind of peace of mind of knowing like, okay, like we're good. I know that I've weighed it and it's not gonna be over. Or you know for sure that it is and you've just accepted your fate. <laughs> okay, compression socks. Listen, <laughs> my mom actually did have, it's actually really scary, a blood clot when she traveled from Hawaii years ago really scary. Luckily all was okay and it got figured out, but I take that very seriously. And so I always bring aspirin, like low dose aspirin with me. Um, compression socks are huge. You, you never know when it might happen to you. So especially if it's a longer flight, like if it's a two hour flight, I'm not usually as concerned. I'm not bringing compression socks, but if it's like four hours plus I do, even if you just wear them for some of the time, this was like a four pack on Amazon. They're really cute. They didn't feel too uncomfortable, but they definitely were compressing. You couldn't even tell I was wearing them if that's something you'd be concerned about, you know? And of course you can get more neutral colors too, but yeah, I just, I thought these were cute. They were really well made. They're serving the purpose I need. I bought these once, I'll probably just have them forever, you know? This one's random and I almost didn't mention it in this, but I was like, I have to, because this was such a discovery for me this past few months. This is the best dry shampoo I've ever tried and it is so travel friendly. So I was worried about like in my 
my liquids bag, I usually will put anything that's aerosol because I'm like, well, I think it's technically a liquid. Like, you know, so I, I always play it safe. But dry shampoo, like I go through it really quickly, especially when I'm traveling. If we're touring a lot and we don't really know that we're gonna have a lot of time to wash our hair, etc. Discovering this on Amazon, this is the I Do Care Tap Secret Dry Shampoo Powder. The way that it works, and it's good. Like it is maybe the best dry shampoo I've ever used. So now I'm, this is what I'm using at home as well. But it is literally, the powder's down here. Here's the puff, there's the lid. You tap this, I don't need it right now, but you tap it into your hair and it gets all in there. You're not spraying it all around. It doesn't need to take up room in your liquids bag, but it works so well. You're probably seeing it right now all in the air. It works so well. And the other thing is I've realized when I'll spray dry shampoo, I'll, you know, kind of like lift my hair up and spray it there, then there, then there. But I feel like throughout my hair, it doesn't always get the oil out. Like it does a good job at the roots, but not necessarily throughout. This gets all throughout and it is incredible. It gives me volume. Like I am such a convert to this and I can't believe it because I've tried a lot of those like, you know, kind of not spray in, but like kind of tap in types, but none like this with this format. This is amazing. 10 out of 10 do recommend. And it's great for travel. So that is everything. I hope that this was helpful. Maybe you're planning a trip. Maybe you're not, but you're just, I don't know, you're curious. And some of this, like I said, can be helpful for non-travel related things too, just in everyday life. So I hope it was helpful. Like I said, I will have my Amazon storefront linked below. I have my travel faves all together, but I also have fashion faves, uh, makeup faves, skincare, kid things, baby things. I've got all of it organized on there. If you're just kind of curious, you want to click through, see what things I love as well. And I hope that you'll subscribe and catch more of my videos. And I love you all. I will see you in my next one. Bye.